I'm here with Raf Meersman, the CEO of Comsoft at the FTTH event in London. Raf, you uh, gave us an interesting insight last year about the, the deployment costs of FTTH and you've honed that right down now into the German market. What are some of the main findings that you've announced today? Yes, so um, I think the main conclusion of the study we did now was uh, that um, we first of all confirmed the number on the EU27 level by refining the numbers for the German market. That means, uh, well, our numbers are, uh, are optimized and, and pretty, um, pretty challenging, but we confirmed that also in the German market a deployment is possible for a, a tight budget. Um, we also clearly showed the, the, the challenges that also need to be tackled for that. Mainly, or one of the main challenges in the German market is, I think, also um, the, 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 the trenching, the way of doing trenching, because there are big labor costs within Germany. Um, so you have to control them and you have to try to ma manage them in the best possible way by using the best possible new technologies that are available. And that was uh, one of the key findings, I think, of this study. Yeah, were there any other lessons for other countries looking to uh, emulate with uh, FTTH? Uh, well, I think um, one of the lessons for uh, for other countries as well is that um, it's not necessarily um, um, or it's not impossible to also deploy fiber to the whole country, including also more rural parts, um, if you use this, the right technologies and the right involvement of people. So we, we always look at a full deployment, not uh, not just focusing on the big cities. Uh, and even then, costs are uh, under control, so that that's uh, definitely important. And also on uh, the the like I said before, the the, the new technologies and the, the new things which are happening, uh, which allow to to uh, decrease the costs and and deploy as efficiently as possible uh, is definitely showing in the results that uh, there is a lot of potential there uh, to also stimulate the deployments in the whole of Europe uh, including rural developments. Yeah now I know at Comsoft you guys are pretty much experts in this field mm -hmm. how do you go about you know, making your calculations what's the system you use how, how do you do it basically? Yeah, I think we have a quite unique approach because uh, what what we do is with our own software we uh, we look at uh, a large set of, of areas in details uh, with detailed GIS data, which shows the whole region, including the the locations of homes and streets, and we do a full calculation of a real network on such a large areas. In total, for Germany, we calculated 2.3. Uh, million of homes where we did a real network calculation and this is quite unique because those are real uh, plans of a network that can be constructed like that so the reliability of the numbers is very high because they're based on this kind of uh, large uh, real calculations and also on the extrapolation we we are quite uh, unique in the sense that uh, we also look at uh, populated areas so we try to ex uh, exclude areas like forest and uh, uh, agricultural areas uh, from the extrapolation model because of course there you don't have to go with your fiber and if you take that into account you overestimate often the costs because that's just area you don't need to cover with your fiber. So it's, so it's very, very accurate, basically. Now, yeah. now I think you're planning a possible webinar with FTTH Council about this whole, uh, this whole area. Yes, that's right. Uh, we have a lot of uh, details uh, we want to share. Uh, we want to be very open on this model just because to, to prove the, the value and the quality of this model. Uh, but of course, here in the slot, there's not a lot of time. So we are planning to do a, a detailed webinar uh, soon, I think somewhere in April, probably, uh, where we have more time to explain all the details and to have also open up the discussion with anyone who wants to, uh, to, to comment on our methodology and assumptions. OK, Raf, well, thanks for sharing the news with us today. My pleasure. Thank you. So that was Raf reporting latest figures for Germany from the FTTH Council and a webinar coming up fairly soon.